<laughs> All right, that was, that was freaking cool. All right, welcome to Cogmind. This is what I'd like to call a modern roguelike. As you can see, there's uh, tons of animations. It's actually got a, some graphics. I believe these are ASCII based. I've actually used the program that uh, the creator said he used to make these tiles. He actually made the program himself, Rex Paint. It's pretty cool, you should check it out if you want to. But definitely this game is m one of those uh, definitely updated for the modern age in terms of roguelikes. It's got a lot of more user-friendly interfaces and options compared to some of your more older traditional roguelikes. I haven't actually played this game before. I picked it up um, not too long ago, sometime last year. And I've been meaning to play this for a while, but just really had that, haven't had the time to do it. But here we are, so I want to jump right into this. RO6 Scavenger. So I have really no idea what's going on, but we're going to figure it out as we go along here. So I have watched a little bit, but that's probably not going to help me here that much. I know we need some... Uh, parts here. So we've got some parts on the ground and we're gonna attach those to our robot. So I believe what this is right here is a matter is used to attach parts and it's consumed by ballistic weapons which convert it to the appropriate type of ammunition. So we just drag yourself on over here because we don't have any uh, parts attached to us right now. So we have we have slots for weapons, we have slots for utilities, these are kind of like uh, active abilities I think we can use. Propulsion is basically what moves us around and power basically I think lets us do stuff like skill points or something like mana if we want to talk about uh, no item to retrieve. Do we pick it up? Oh, okay so now that's just that's just a resource. Okay I see I see. So we got a wheel we have a small storage unit we have some ion engines right here so it's a light ion engine and this is just a regular one it seems I think that means light. I'd assume so. Some legs, some lasers, and we got some treads over here. You could be Wally if you wanted to. Storage unit, treads, a laser, an assault rifle. <laughs> Come on, let's be Wally. And that sounds great. So we've got some matter over there. It seems kind of interesting. So why don't we go ahead and pick up this engine? Pick up a part by standing on it and pressing G or clicking on self. It is strongly recommended to check out all the spoiler free survival tips section of the manual and learn some important basic strategies. Nah, we're good. So I think we can just attach this by clicking on it, right? No, dragging. Okay, so we put this into power. Perfect. Pretty sure we can just click on it or something, double click, maybe we'll equip it. Uh, overweight, you're carrying more than your current propulsion can efficiently support, which slows movement. See status page S or the top of the parts list for the specific mass versus support values. Uh, sorry, what? Parts list. Sure. <laughs> Not important. Okay, so we're overweight. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here. I just love the UI. Wow. Animated UI. So let's go ahead and pick up some treads. It's probably going to take us a little while to move around. Yep, just a little bit. So why don't we go ahead and get this, and then I guess we'll equip it to our propulsion. Yep. So we've got some treads, no problem. We have an EM pulse gun. So I think if we press yes, that should give us some data, a description of it. So it's an energy gun. General classification, thanks. Super useful. Projectile damage type electromagnetic. <laughs> yes, this is great. Electromagnetic weapons have less of an impact on integrity but are capable of corrupting a target's computer systems. Anywhere from 50 to 150% of damage done is also applied as system corruption, automatically maximized on a critical hit. Cogmind is less susceptible to EM cause corruption but still has a damage percentage chance to suffer. One point of system corruption per hit, or 5 to 20% of the damage on a critical strike. EM based explosions only deal half damage to inactive items lying on the ground. So, I have no idea what corruption is, but we're going to pick this up for the time being. 
I guess we'll go ahead and come over here and pick up a small storage unit. And I think this goes into utilities. Yes, now we can carry some more stuff. We are actually slow. For reasons or another. Probably go ahead and pick up these, uh, these weapons here. And this guy right here, can we get some... Yes, okay, so if we click on him, we'll get some information. Class Recycler. Robots are divided into classes based on the purpose. So one thing that's really cool about this game is every enemy, or I wouldn't even say enemy, like every robot has a particular purpose, has a job, and it'll go put around with level and do its job. So this guy right here, I think what he does is he goes around, he tries to find objects, and he collects objects, and he brings them back to like a recycler area, recycling bay, and has them recycled. So I'm pretty sure if we run into these guys, if we spend a lot of time on the level, they might have some goodies on us. So if we destroy him, we'll probably get some stuff that he picked up. Or maybe we'll just destroy it and just like only get matter back. So pulse gun sounds pretty cool. I just wait what? Quarter assault rifle. Alright. Press F1 or click the question mark button to access the command list. Alright, I've done that before. So why don't we do small laser? And we can really be Wally. Oh cool, it gives you a ring to show what's going on. So I believe if we use energy, small storage unit, ion engine, something information about here, mass five, integrity, we are pretty slow. Can we get some information on why we're slow? Mass, we are overweight. Being overweight slows moving by propulsion specific amount for each degree with total mass exceeds uh, all attached parts, right? Okay. Core exposure, inventory. Carry as many spare parts as possible. So I'll check out the iron engine a little bit more. So mass, slots, rating, standard integrity, coverage, state is inactive. So we'll indicate the number of turns until activation. If deteriorating, the item will gradually lose integrity. If unstable, it indicates the number of sh shots remaining before implosion. Uh, how do we activate you? Oh, like that. Press P to enable auto activation of all feature attached parts. Sure. Okay, so we just activate them, that, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oops, so we press F, you can kind of select this guy. So I think he's hostile now that we, <laughs> now that we shot him with uh, some corruption. Why don't we go ahead and keep uh, hitting him with that. We are a terrible shot. Okay, blue. Destroyed. Press 3 to manually label all known items. The number next to each name is its rating. Higher ratings are better. Okay. Pretty cool. So we have another small storage unit. And what is this? A tractor beam. Tractor beam. It's a utility. Whoops. Automatically collects matter within a range of four. Okay. That'll save us a couple of churns here and there. So we have matter, energy. Oh, right. We need matter, I think, to equip items, I think it was. I'll just go ahead and pick this up, too. Excavator. It's a tunneler. So yeah, basically I think these guys will just go around the level and uh, mine through the walls and stuff. Just slide my keyboard over here for movement. I could just click everywhere, but sounds a little annoying. It's supposed to automatically pick stuff up for me. So there's the stairs up. We could uh, terrorize the excavators a little bit, but I think we're just going to keep going on. I really like that. <laughs> Processing tank. Can you tell me more about you? State is active. Uh, there should be maybe a terminal we can connect to. 
By default, the difficulty has been carefully balanced to provide a fun yet challenging roguelike experience. But if you're interested in a somewhat less demanding game, check the options menu to lower the difficulty. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I like things how they are right now. So yeah, basically we're just gonna tool around, see what's up. <laughs> so check out all these items. I like the ASCII art. This is just, this is great. I mean, the animations are probably the best part, but like this just adds that little icing on the cake right there. Well, I, is, it, is it icing or sprinkles? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's sprinkles. It's all icing. It's all cake. It's all delicious. Enables terrain scanning up to a distance of 12 once per turn. Okay, well, a tractor beam has been pretty lackluster, so... Can we unequip you? Ooh, that's a... Uh... Energy heat. Coverage. What we got here? Info. Info's kinda nice. Delete his integrity. Maybe we'll just leave on integrity right now. So how do I unequip you? No, that just turns it on. Huh. Can I just swap you out? Is that how it works? Apparently. Okay. Acquired terrain scanner. So I think what this will do is just as we're walking, it'll uh, kind of uncover the level ahead of us. Yes. Nice. I like that a lot. What are you? You're an engineer. You're immune to hacking. We can hack robots. ID is neutral. Okay. I'll keep doing your thing. A hover unit. Uh, duh. Hover unit. Yes. Propulsion. Whoops. No classification of the same. Right, right, right. I'm stuck in that. Type of slot the part could be attached to. Okay. Rating is standard. Coverage. Dive. Say is inactive. Active upkeep. Energy negative one. Heat plus one. Where's our heat? We are pretty good. Time move is 60. Base. So our trends here. Uh, five percent chance to crush robots when ramming them. Cannot crush targets of larger or greater size or those with more than fifty core integrity. Stacks kept at thirty-five percent. Maybe we can get multiple treads. So right now we're a Wally, but maybe in the future we'd be like a Wally tank. Light treads. Each active tread slot reduces by one the recoil from each weapon fired. Also provides immunity to knockback from impact damage. Nice. So does this mean it's slow? We have time required to move one space when unburdened and using only this type of repulsion. Where multiple active propulsion modules have different values, the average is used. Each additional propulsion module modifies the movement time cost by this amount. Airborne propulsion have negative time modifiers and therefore always increase speed as more are attached. Time slash move can never be reduced below 20 when hovering or 10 when flying. And this is just, yeah. Energy consumed by this per each move if active. Okay. So it seems. Yeah, we're quite slow. That's not much of a problem. I think what we'll go ahead and do is pick up some flying utilities here. Some hover units, because that might be cool to check out the future. So this thing will just kind of scan through walls and stuff. Bump into an actor interactive machine at the letter can, uh, containing square to access it. We got a terminal. Okay. Let's ram the terminal. Scanning nodes. It's the fluff on the side. I think so. Chance of detection medium. So we're not really good at hacking. As far as I know, we can't level up, but we can get more modules that will effectively make us a better hacker, among other things. So schematic. So I believe what we can do is we can get schematics and we can get I think maybe we just use matter we can go find like a a machine a fabricator that's the word a fabricator and we can make some of these items excavator let us tunnel through walls kind of like the disposable heat sink but I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that for right now dispatch record surveillance status transport status reinforcement status recall manual command 
Oh, cool. <laughs> Maybe we can get some, uh, learn some manual commands. Prototype ID bank. Yeah, let's go for that. Failed. Percent unexpected hardline switch. It's made to trace pro pro progress. Could try that again. Seems that it doesn't go up when we uh, try. So when we uh, try and dispatch some records. Ooh. Found eight active squads, three surveillance, three patrol, and two times transport. Okay, well, we're about to be uh, detected, so why don't we go ahead and uh, bounce on out of there. Exit the terminal. Ooh. Distress signal alerts nearby alley. So you are hostile. I didn't do anything wrong. Class watcher. So he just squealed on us. I think maybe we should have brought out the assault rifle. It's too late now. So we have a small laser. This does thermal damage. Might not be so useful against this guy. This made temperature. Maybe it could. I don't know. Let's, uh. Whoops, no. Fire. So does this fire both weapons? How does this work? Yeah, it seems that's the way it works. Okay. I think. So I think we hit him, right? Uh, no. What do we got over here? Test. It's a swarmer. I don't like that. So it seems that, yes, we use both of them to attack. Yeah, okay. Um, he disappeared somewhere. I guess he can fly. Can we shoot around the corner? No. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up. Alarm trap. I guess we can't, uh, spec that. So you're just an excavator. Can we, uh, we'll attempt to crush? No. Just, I wanted to go around you, but maybe if I was flying, I could do that. There's your valley. Triggered an alarm trap. Oh. Alarm trap dispatching investigation squad. Oh, we need to get out of here. Too late. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some uh, got some friends to deal with. He's a walker. Has he detected us? I'm not sure. Seems so. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and try and... Uh, us a little bit. How are you doing? You have electromagnetic. So I think this uses yeah a little bit of uh, matter. No problem. So we ended up did we did hit him. It's kind of hard to tell how much damage we're doing to these guys. Transporter. Ah, uh, holler. So you might have items, components. Oh, okay. I was not looking. Oops. Alright, so we have damaged you quite a bit. Or a fair amount. There we go. Blown up. Perfect. Now I think that transport is going to end up picking stuff up. No, it just lays concrete. So you have a aluminum leg, and there is a transporter right there. And there's auto retrieve of sufficient capacity, right? Okay. So yes, these guys have come along. Uh, what are you currently doing? I'll tell you what it's currently doing. Uh, no, probably the engineer is like checking out why somebody was hacking into the terminal there. Got a pest and another pest. So this aluminum leg is yellow. Is that because it's damaged? Yes, that would be why. Provides a 20% chance to kick targets out of the way instead of ramming them, building a no damage itself, not applicable against huge targets. Still pretty cool. Uh, we got a very narrow. What's happening there? 
Okay, so these guys are actually going to attack us because they're annoying. Oh, jeez. There's lots of guys here. Alright, so why don't we just uh, stay and fight? Maybe because that's probably a really terrible idea. Hmm. I don't really have anything to deal with a lot of these guys, but if I try to run, they're just going to annihilate me. Alright, so perhaps a bad idea to start off by trying to hack something. Why don't we go ahead and check the manual? Basic options. For survival tips, I have conceded. Build. Legs are best form of starter propulsion. They move fast enough, have relatively high integrity, and you can salvage spares off enemy grunts fairly easily. Avoid using wheels if possible, and generally avoid mixing propulsion since you can't activate multiple types at once anyway. Uh, the safest first evolution is two propulsion slots since an extra two legs will help block shots and you won't have any problems carrying the amount of mass you want. If you're running out of propulsion parts to fill your slots, temporarily keep even to activate a propulsion attached, especially legs and treads, because they don't count against movement but can block shots. For later evolutions, pick whatever you want, blah blah blah. Inventory management combat. Avoid unnecessary combat. It's fun to shoot everything, but until you have a better grasp of the consequences and how to excel at combat, fighting too much only puts you at a disadvantage. That said, once you've earned, engaged in the combat, try not to run as you'll probably end up running into more enemies and the situation will continue escalating. Positioning is extremely important. At the start of combat against multiple enemies, pre-position to a less exposed position, preferably diagonal to the inside of a doorway or a narrow corridor that can serve as a bottleneck. It's even worth taking damage in the process of repositioning, as you would likely take even more damage continuing the fight from a bad location. When not properly equipped to do so, but if you have a launcher, then by all means do it in the open. Advantage of avoiding additional patrols that might happen in the process of progress if you want to come in high walls. Moving is a good way to stay less exposed and make access. Can you doors and quarters when you use the computers? Okay. Uh, so, run away is what you're telling me right now. Where do we want to run to? We don't want to run down because we're just going to get hit. So, why don't we uh, try to break line of sight here? Use this robot as a cover. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. They might hit, they might not, I'm not sure. So pests are probably going to be hard to hit, because they're small. Did we get hit? Kind of hard to tell. Yes, they did hit us a little bit. Unfortunately, are you angry at us? No, you're neutral. Look a little damaged though. Oh, they're hitting our guns. That's not good. So we go ahead and retreat this corner a little bit. Oh, I strider laser. What a douchebag. Alright, so let's put on our pulse gun here. Retreat a little bit around here. Uh, can we get a good angle on you? Yeah, we can get a little bit of an angle on you. you blew up. Alright, not bad. We managed to do some stuff. Flight unit, that'd be cool. Some legs, a welding torch. Got some matters, a heat sink that's really damaged, and wheels. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted with the legs now. Because light treads, pretty okay. But at the same time, probably going to get us killed because they're slow. So our core is damaged. Core exposure. I guess our core is just our overall health. Can we get that repaired somehow? So core exposure. Exposure represents the chance that a successful incoming attack will hit the core. Attach more high coverage parts to reduce this value and protect the core from damage. Right. Our core is our core. Our CPU, probably. Oh, hi. You're annoying. Alright, get out of here. A light lot ion engine. No, we just want to stick with that regular one. What's this welding torch? It's a weapon. It's a special weapon. It does thermal damage. Two to four. Heat transfer low. Relative heat transferred to a target where each projectile impact heats it up separately. 
Overloaded thermal weapons transfer heat at one level higher than their normal output. Delayed targets recoil heat matter energy range is 2. Coverage is 100. It's a relative mass rating standard special weapon. Interesting. Not sure if it's really useful, but uh, it's another weapon, so I guess we'll pick it up. You can hold two things. Why don't we go ahead and grab a leg? And grab another leg. I guess we'll go ahead and pick up this uh, matter and stuff. Flight unit is really damaged, so I'm not going to bother with that. I suppose now we got to find a way to uh, fix our core. May prefer using a different font style. Try some of the others via the option menu as first option. Actually, I will check that out. Font set. Oh, there's tons. Cob wide. Ooh, that's that's weird. <laughs> Let's just do no cob, okay? Uh, I forget what it was at before. Oops. Is that it? Probably. We'll go with that one. Try and remember that one. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Does that change how the game looks? No, but it does change all of this. It's really cool that this is an option to change the default text. I like that. <laughs> bear, bear with me here. I, I'm enjoying this way too much. Fuzzy. Ooh, that's small. Small caps glow. Oh, I suppose this was 18, right? Terminus. Just keep going? Oh, yeah, it does. Cog wide. It's hideous. Uh, where were we? Small caps glow. Yeah, we'll stick with this for right now. I'll, I'll play with that around off screen. To, I'll see if I can find what I like and that isn't too bad on the eyes. Ah, oh, regular welding torch. Okay, so what do we got here? Recycling units. We could stick around here and uh, ambush anybody who comes along, but... Uh, okay, so we can recycle components. Whoops. So what does recycling do? Manual command, retrieve components, retrieve matter, report inventory, process. Analyzing inventory. No components found. Okay. Report inventory. Matter reserves empty, and there's nothing in there. Okay. So we could try and uh, recycle something. Why don't we try and recycle the uh, welding torch? Accepting welding torch. We put it in there? We did. So, probably all that does is just uh, recycle stuff. Okay, so you process it in there, and that turns it into matter. Okay, I see, I see. That's cool. So we'll go ahead and stick to the walls, just like the thing told us to do, but apparently it just wanted to screw us over. This is why you never listen to the manual. What do you have? You have a light, a hacking suite. I want that. Please give it to me. You're hard to hack, it seems. I don't want to blow you up, though. Can we swap out? <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, he ran away. No, don't run away. And he's gone. Transporter. Gone. Ooh, a hammer. This is a melee weapon. <laughs> you can put melee weapons on your robots. I am enthralled. Ooh. Is that a cannon? We have a rocket launcher, a ballistic cannon. Oops, gotta stop doing that. Kinetic. Oh no. Ballistic weapons generally have a longer effective range and higher chance of critical strike. Suffer from less predictable damage and high recoil. Well, we have tread, so recoil isn't that much of a problem. I'm pretty sure this shoots rockets. So, um, tractor beam, not very useful. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, you off, we can just drop you, yes. Give me a cannon. Ooh. What else we got? Utility shielding. Absorbs 33% of damage that would otherwise affect utilities. Does not protect armor, but negates extra effects of critical strikes against utilities. 
No stack. Okay. So this is just the utility and it perfect protects our other utilities. Not that important right now. What do we have here? That terminal. Got a nuclear reactor and a hammer. I kinda wanna pick that up. Seems maybe we could just go full on like Alert, hostile spot dispatching reinforcements to terminals. What just happened? Did I just get ratted out? Apparently. Apparently. Locate traps. Alert level. Uh, schematic for shotgun. Wrecker. DSF. Lightweight power. Something. The power source. Many engine cores and reactors have an alternative lightweight variant that retains generation efficiency of its standard version but minimizes built-in battery space, reduced weight for certain robot designs, especially those with strict weight restrictions such as hovering and light. Okay. Not very applicable to us because we're uh, pretty tanky, but we want to go with the light version when we're doing uh, flying robots. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, DSF, not important. That EM shotgun. Kind of like the sounds of that. Alert them. Low security. Purge threat. Failed. Suspicious null response. Okay. So we messed up. We have a hammer. We might need that hammer. Can we use that to break through the wall? Uh, can we pick you up? No, we cannot. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop the hover unit off. Pick up the hammer. Melee. Yes. We'll turn you off and then smash through the wall, please. Okay, that's not gonna work. Can maybe sm <laughs> this might be a very bad idea, but let's try and smash the nuclear reactor. <laughs> no, 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 over here. Take that. Rage against the machine. Oh, we have a cannon. What am I doing? A <laughs> cannon. <laughs> Alright. Um, everything that comes to that door is going to have a bad time. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so cannon is not an explosion, it seems. It's just a legitimate cannon. uses uh, matter to shoot things, that makes sense. <laughs> this game is cool, I love this game. Alright, so you have detected us, because you're a technician and you're boring, and you suck. So why don't you come over here and let me touch your face. Will melee a neutral target, confirm direction, yes. Quomp. Well, we just, we miss. If handshake failed securing system, where'd he go? These guys are fast. Mining laser, mining laser, ooh, mining lasers. So you do thermal, heat transfer is high. So these are pretty good, we can overheat things. They use a lot of energy though. I think we could probably use these to tunnel through walls. 24 damage. We do 15 to 20, not bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can get rid of the welding torch. Not very useful. For you. Probably toss off this small storage unit too. Kind of like the terrain scanner, so we'll leave that for now. We'll go ahead and pick up a couple of uh, mining lasers for right now. Because why not? Who oh, hired you? Yeah, I just scavenger. You pick up the welding torch. Yeah, you'll pick up stuff. Send it to the recycler. Ooh, tractor beams. Don't need those. Oh, hi. All right. So against my better judgment, we're gonna get up very close. To he hit you. Ah, uh, he did manage to hit us. Missed. He's trying to run away. We're just destroyed. Aluminum lag. So we'll go ahead and get rid of you because uh, you're pretty damaged. Pick you up many times. So you're just a regular ion engine. Yas. You're still in good condition. Yeah, 
there's nothing different about you. Okay. We could keep exploring this level. I'm not sure if it's worth it or not. But uh, I, th I think we can do this for right now. Maybe a hammer on my slow ass tread bot is a bad idea. But we'll stick with it for right now. Can you ever check out what's in here? Maybe. Some small storage units, a grenade launcher, hello. Medium storage unit and a large storage unit. So you're pretty heavy. You're decently heavy. And you are not very heavy. How's our mass doing actually? Is that a bit of a problem right now? Mass is okay. So we probably probably very well could just uh, toss in a very large storage unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the aluminum leg for right now. Pick up a large storage unit. So how much uh, stuff will this cost me here? Seems to be 10 just all around. Right, we carry a lot of stuff now. I am very happy with this and we'll go ahead and uh, equip the grenade launcher. <laughs> Ooh, I need a new type of chassis. Chassis. Can we do that? Can we change the chassis out? I think we should be able to do that. So let's try and not get ambushed by any more uh, of these guys, right? Just as I say it. Get wrecked. Sensory array. Like ion engine. Did we pick it up? Where'd he go? Oh no, hey, you get back here. Picked up our sensory array. What a douchebag. Increases visual sensor range by two. Ooh. Ooh. Might be useful, but what was that sensor array? Do we have one of those already? No, we have a terrain scanner. Can we, uh, no, we can't. Back here with that, you bastard. Scavengers, man. Scavengers. Oh, hey, it's you. You have my sensor array, don't you? Oh my god, he had loot. Got another aluminum leg in there. Did I pick up the other one back there? Yeah, I did. Uh, sensor array, tractor beam, and a light on engine. What is a sensor array? Enables robots scanning up to a distance of eight once per turn. So we can scan robots. I'm not sure what this does for us. I'm not sure at all. I'm not even sure if this uh, terrain scanner is useful for us. Why don't we go ahead and put the sensor array in? And we'll see what this does. Maybe we'll let us see a robot on the other side of walls. Oops, uh, if we press enter, should move us back there, okay. Yes, it does let us see robots, nice. Okay. It doesn't tell us what the robot is, but it lets us know there's a robot there. Right, we want to maybe avoid this. Just keep going, robot. Excavator, you are slow, my friend. So very, very slow. All right, so I guess it's uh, ooh, 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 ooh. What have we got here? A armor integrity analyzer. Enables 33% chance to bypass target armor. It does not apply to launcher attacks. Uh, I like armor integrity. That's what we were just looking at. Improved treads. Nice. Improved treads. Each active tread slot produces reduces one by one the recoil from each weapon fired. Also improves immunity to knockback from impact damage. Nice. 
Improved sensor array. Ooh, okay. Lots of goodies here. Invalid move. Sensor array is jammed. Well, bummer. Okay, hammer, I like you, but at the same time, I think I need you to go. Right now. We'll go ahead and pick you up. Improved sensor array. We'll go ahead and put you in here. Since ours is broke anyways. And I think we'll go ahead and drop the, uh, the leg and the leg. Improved treads. Excellent. Drop you off and we'll drop you off. Actually, we might as well just uh, take the improved treads with us. For the time being. Out of inventory space. Might that be worth picking up? Also, just to bypass stuff. Um, visual processing unit, impulse gun. Mining laser is pretty good. What's the range? Oh, it's only two. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll just we'll go ahead and uh, forget about those for right now. Oh, I see you over there. Your scout DCS. You might. Come closer, huh? Oh, you're just a uh, scavenger, all right. All right, stealth. <laughs> stealth mechanics in a robot game. I love it. Sounds. Ooh, shadows from all the way over there. You can't shoot that far. But you can. Alright, so why don't we, uh, we have the sensor array. Why don't we go ahead and put in the armor integrity analyzer? Sure, marked with a colon in the parts list as a reminder. Oh, they get damn or destroyed if we move them. That's fortunate. Oh. So they found us. They found us out. That's no good. But I think I'm going to end the episode there. So, oh, stretch. All right. Uh, I'll say right now that I apologize for not being around. I've been quite busy dealing with some stuff, but I should be around a little bit more regularly now. I plan to be playing Cogmind for quite a while. So with that, thank you guys for sticking with me for all this time. I will see you again next time. So in the meantime, take care.